top six handguns under $500 for self-defense you should get this 2024. When it comes to defending yourself and your family, spending big isn't the only option that you have. Sure, expensive guns tend to offer better ballistic performance and ergonomics than their affordable counterparts. However, this doesn't mean that there are no great options in the entry-level market. Today, you can already bag a functional and accurate personal handgun without busting your wallet. If you can just spare a couple hundred dollars, you'll be surprised by the quality of the guns that you can get. Hello everyone, this is Ted from Line 45. In this video, I listed six best handguns under $500 that really, really work well for personal defense. Before we get underway, please remember to hit the like and subscribe buttons. I know it is a chore, but these simple clicks help my channel immensely. Now, let's return to the video. Tysus 1911A1 The Tysus 1911A1 is perhaps an entry that you didn't expect on this list. After all, it isn't as popular as its contemporaries, but that's the point. It is criminally underrated, and that's why it requires some exposure. From its name alone, the gun, being a 1911 pistol, is already a giveaway. But unlike other 1911 guns, the Tissus 1911A1 is among those full-size 1911 pistols that will not require you to bust your savings. Priced somewhere between $400 to $500, this gun sits side by side with the likes of Rock Island Armory, American Classic, and Gerson 1901s. Of course, there's nothing flashy about the TSAS 1911 A1. It followed the design of the World War II GI-type 1911 guns religiously. But that's completely all right, as this gun performs with exceptional reliability. The TSAS 1911 A1 boasts a gray Cerakote finish that mimics the original parkerized finish of old 1911 guns. It also comes with walnut grips, GI sights, and a conventional GI hammer and trigger setup. As I said, this gun mimics the design and aesthetics of its predecessor. Despite being an affordable pistol, the TSAS 1911 A1 boasts high quality performance. It has a surprisingly superb trigger, which breaks around 3 to 3.5 pounds. It also has a short reset and a spacious trigger guard. I actually ran several tests with the TSAS 1911 A1 using different DARPORM 5 ACP ammo. I didn't clean the gun or add lubrication during breaks, it was still able to empty around 400 to 500 rounds. I also managed to acquire tight groups with zero frills or whatsoever. It is such a good entry-level 1911 pistol, suitable for defensive purposes. Kanik TP9 Elite SC I am quite confident that this list won't be complete without mentioning the Kanik TP9 Elite SC. This is a solid defensive pistol on a budget. This is priced around $400 to $450 and offers superb accuracy and reliability. The Koenig TP9 Elite SC is a subcompact gun, not a microcompact. Well, you can think that it has a similar size to the Glock 26. It has a bit of heft and chunk on it, but I don't think that's a bad thing. After all, what we want is a defensive pistol that doesn't have a snappy recoil. Moreover, the Koenig TP9 Elite SC is compatible with the full-size TP9 model magazines. So if you want extra capacity, you can just purchase those mags. With the extra width of the TP9 Elite SC, holding the gun becomes a lot easier. Well, that's how I see it as a dude who has large hands, and that's always an issue for me. Microcompact guns these days are really great for defensive purposes. However, most of them have thin profiles that could potentially get in the way when you are shooting. Again, the added girth of the Canic TP9 Elite SC solves this particular concern of many shooters. Specifically, the gun is about 1.45 inch wide. So, is this concealable? Yes. The overall dimension still allows for seamless concealed carry. It comes with a 3.6 inch barrel and a total length and height of 6.7 inches and 5 inches, respectively. Its standard capacity is 12 rounds, with the option of fitting a 15 round extended magazine. Similar to modern defensive pistols today, this one is cut for optics. In particular, it is designed with a Shield RMSC micro footprint. And to top these things off, the TP9 Elite SC arguably has the best trigger in its class. It breaks crisply and ushers a light 3.5 pound trigger pull. Resets are short and very tactile. Mossberg MC1 SC. I always think that the Mossberg MC1C is an underrated pistol. This is a good gun, especially for defensive applications. 
It is reliable, shoots fast, and operates seamlessly. Plus, it has the size and weight that you can carry all around. The starting price of a Mossberg MC1C is about 425, but it offers a value-driven performance. This baby, despite having the appearance of a standard subcompact pistol, has some unique perks that make it a distinct striker-fired 9mm pistol. The gun has a single stack construction, features a locked breech mechanism, and offers minimal recoil. The frame is made from polymer, which from my standpoint is fairly durable. Meanwhile, its slides are made from 4 and 16 stainless steel. The base model of the Mossberg MC1SC has three dot white sights, which have been dovetailed to the slides. And speaking of the slide, the latter comes with rear and front serrations for convenient operation. At the same time, the Mossberg MC1SC comes with a diamond-like carbon slide and barrel coatings. These are great treatments, as they minimize friction, which improves the overall durability and reliability of the pistol. I am downright sold on the ergonomics of the Mossberg MC1SC. The polymer frame has a slight palm swell and textured grip panels, which in practice guarantee firm control over the weapon. The grip also has finger grooves on its front, while its rear has been angled so that it can sit high on your hands. Of course, these intuitive features optimize your ability to shoot the gun comfortably and accurately. Well, the downside of the Mossberg MC1SC is its limited capacity. Its flush fit magazine only holds six rounds of nine millimeter. Get its extended mag and you will acquire another round. It's pretty understandable given that the gun is a single stack model. This handgun is roughly an inch wide, making it an ideal choice for an all day carry weapon. Glock 19 Gen 5. The Glock 19 has an irrefutable popularity, part for its price and part for its impeccable quality and performance. It's easy to spot a Glock 19 at a bargain price, making it an ideal choice for those who are looking for affordable defense pistols. So what can the Glock 19 bring to the table? Well, the first and most obvious one is its reliability. This can doesn't misfire, regardless of the type of ammo you feed it. I have had my Glock 19 for about three years or so, and I haven't experienced any malfunctions yet. And in actual combat situations, I think that the Glock 19 will give me a sense of confidence that I have something to rely on. Another thing that made the Glock 19 an excellent choice here is its comfortable grip. Compared to the previous generations of Glock, the Gen 5 Glocks, including the Glock 19, have no finger grooves. This change is highly welcomed by many shooters as it allows for more control and convenience in holding the gun. Furthermore, it's a modular pistol in the sense that it comes with adjustable back straps. Whether you have small or large hands, you can find a perfect fit with this firearm. And if that's not enough, the aftermarket of Glock 19 is pretty much extensive. You can upgrade and swap parts, especially if you are willing to spend more for your defense pistol. However, I have to emphasize that its stock sights aren't that great. I suggest that you replace it with something like a glow-in-the-dark tritium night sight for better visibility and target acquisition. And while some shooters find that its trigger is a bit quirky, it's undeniable that the Glock 19 offers great accuracy. Plus, the fact that it doesn't falter makes it a more convincing choice for a personal defense weapon. If you want a full-size Glock, then try Glock 19's big brother, the Glock 17. SIG Sauer P365 For starters, the MSRP of the CG P365 is about 650 if it's a brand new base model. But if you are all right with you said but rock solid models, you can get this price at an average of $450 to $500. For a defensive pistol, you can never get wrong with the SIG P365. It is a micro compact pistol, and I was really compelled to feature this gun on this list, even though I already have made several videos in the past that highlighted its goodness. Here's a trivia the 365 on its name actually stands for 365 days. Folks from Sig Sauer decided to make this gun your one and only concealed carry pistol. And to be honest, they did a good job in crafting this firearm. It is a polymer-framed, striker-fired handgun that is only 5.8 inches long and 18 ounces heavy. But even with its small size, it still holds about 10 plus one rounds of 9 millimeter. When it comes to size and capacity, I stand in my belief that it is way better than the Smith & Wesson m and and Glock 26. With this gun, you won't have to worry about reliability problems. My P365 has been with me for about two years already, and I was able to fire around a thousand rounds from it. 
From a technical standpoint, this establishes the foolproof construction of this firearm. It's also fun to shoot thanks to its comfortable grip, easy to rack slide, and accessible controls. From its stock sights to its all metal trigger, no parts of the P365 are cheap. CZ P10C. When it comes to budget friendly defense guns, you can never exclude the CZ P10C. It is an incredible workhorse and proficient performance as it is based on the venerable CZ75. Keep in mind that this gun was released in 2017, and even in 2024, it still soars high in the concealed carry weapon market. It is easy to fit in and gives you the feeling that it can shoot regardless of the situation or condition. As far as I'm concerned, the CZ P10C is one of the finest striker-fired pistols you can buy for under $500, and it just doesn't work as an EDC pistol. It can also be used for home defense or any other applications that a Glock 19 can do. Furthermore, this gun comes with a 15-round magazine. This magazine is manufactured by MechGar, which, by the way, is one of the most recognized OEM manufacturers of high-quality magazines. The grip ergonomics of the CZ P10C are also refined. It is patterned from the CZ75 design, with the only difference being that the P10C has a polymer frame and doesn't have stocks or grip panels. Regardless, you will get a good grip with this pistol. After all, you will get three backstraps on the P10C package. These offerings are pretty easy to install. The rest of the gun is pretty much perfect, in my opinion. I really appreciated its aggressive grip texturing and the serrations on its slide. Speaking of, its slide is really easy to operate. Racking and press checks are just a breeze. And to top these things, the gun shoots flat and quick. Even while rapidly firing the gun, Recoil remains pretty minimal. If you are going to buy a CZ P10C, I suggest you get a US-made variant. It has better sights than the ones made in Czech. The three dot sights of a Czech-made P10C are frankly mediocre in my opinion. They aren't that robust as they are made from aluminum, not steel. And if you are planning to mount red dots, go for the CZ P10C variant so you don't have to mill anymore. Thanks for watching. If you want to see more gun videos like this, just click the subscribe button and notification bell. Take care and stay safe.